happy Monday. Toby reading a book called Do You Really Want to Visit the Moon? And it will actually talk about the things that happen on the moon and what we may have difficulty doing on the moon. And it's going to be really interesting. But before we start, we'll be going over some vocabulary words because this is a scientific book and there are a few scientific terms that we should know before we read the book. So, let's start. This is the story of the book. Do You Really Want to Visit the Moon? That's the title by Thomas K. Adamson, illustrated by Danielle Fabry. Alright, number one. The first word is the word moon. It's a round object that circles around a planet, right? And from where we stand, it's usually all looking all white, right? We don't really see all this. And sometimes we will see like dark spots on them, but we're not able to see such a very clear picture of how a moon looks like. A next word is the word gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls things down. This might be kind of confusing, but it is, there's this example where you're holding a tennis ball and a basketball, right? And if we had gravity, which we do have a lot of on Earth, it will fall once you release it. Just like how we're able to stand and we're able to sit and walk because our gravity is forcing things down and making sure things stay the, where, the place where it is. But let's say that we do not have gravity. So if we don't have gravity, then we will be floating everywhere just like how they are in this picture, right? So that's the difference between having gravity and having no gravity, or very less, very little. And that is a big difference to remember when we're reading a book. The next word is the word crater. It's a large hole on the ground caused by a piece of rock from space hitting the moon. So sometimes on, on the moon or other planets, in space, there will be different types of rocks and metals floating around, and it'll actually land on the planets or the moon, right? And it'll create a very big hole, like this one. Next word is the word Maria. Maria is the dark spots that appear from Earth. So it's the large flat planes that appear dark from Earth, something like that, right? Sometimes we see it. What you need to know is that craters are the ones with holes and Maria are the ones that is just dark, right? It's all dark planes, it's just a patch of darkness. The next word is the word meteorites. It's a large piece of rock or metal from space that hits a planet or the moon. And as you can see here, this is what happens, right? A meteorite lands and then it creates a crater, which is a large hole. And everything starts making sense because all of these are smashing down and it creates dents on Earth, I mean on the planets or on the moon. And what those are sometimes leaves a boulder, which is a large round of rock. You'll see a lot of them when we visit the moon later. Last story that we'll be going over is the word Regolith, it's powder-like dirt that covers the surface of a moon or planet. It's really hard to take a picture of, but this is kind of how it'll look like, except it's going everywhere, it's like all over, and when you go on Earth, I mean on the moon, it goes all over you. And we'll actually read about that also. So, let's start reading the book. This is the title of the story, Do You Really Want to Visit the Moon? by Thomas K. Adamson, illustrated by Danielle Fabry. You really need more space to ride. Some place where nothing would get in your way, like the moon. But do you really want to visit the moon? Your trip to the moon will take about four days. As you get close, you will see thousands of craters peppering its great surface. The flat areas are darker. They're called Maria. So from this picture, you can see this is the crater, and these parts are the Maria. 
San Maria look nice and flat. They still have a lot of craters. And watch out for those boulders. They were kicked off the ground when meteorites struck the moon. Your spacecraft touches down. The moon has no air, so you need a spacesuit with an oxygen tank to breathe. With no air here, the sky is always black, even during the day. On Earth, the air scatters sunlight to make the sky appear blue. Walking on the moon is like trying to walk in a sand dune. It takes a while to get used to. Hopping like a kangaroo seems to work well. So again, it has no what? There's barely any gravity. So then that's why they have to hop around, right? And it's really hard to walk because there's less gravity. The moon has less gravity than Earth. If you weigh 60 pounds, which is 27 kilograms on Earth, you weigh only 10 pounds, which is 4.5 kilograms on the moon. Isn't that interesting? Slam dunks are really easy because you're able to go all the way up and put the ball in and that's a dunk right there. But you came here to find more room to ride. You can cover more ground in a lunar buggy. This is the lunar buggy, which is what he's riding on. Wow, this is where the astronauts first walked on the moon. You can still see their footprints. They're still here more than 40 years later because the moon has no wind or rain to wear them away. Because it has no rain, it has no wind, the footprints are always going to be there. So whatever you leave on the moon, it'll stay there because there's nothing that can wear them away or in other words, wash them away. Your space suit is getting very dirty. Moon dust sticks to everything. The dirt on the moon's surface, like a fine powder, is called regolith. So this was what I was talking about. It's going to be everywhere on the moon. Weren't there other astronauts on the moon? You cruise around and find five other landing sites. You can't hear the electric motor on your rover. Hmm. You try drumming on the dashboard. No sound. Sound needs to travel through air to be heard. With no air, there's no sound on the moon. No music either. So remember this, there is no sound on the moon. No music, no sounds, because there's no air. Which is why he needs this oxygen tank, right? Ox oxygen tank. At least you can collect some moon rocks. Maybe you'll get extra credit in science class. Enough exploring, time to ride. Guess I should have worn a little seat belt. Oh no. You catch air on the edge of the craters. Boulders make a great obstacle, of course. Soon you'll see the earth in the sky and earth rise. It's not nearby, nearly as dusty on the earth. And there's air and a little more gravity, and you can hear the drums. It's a great ride up here. But you really wouldn't want to stay too long on the moon, right? And here's a little thing that says, how do we know about the moon? Some scientific facts. We know about the moon because astronauts have been there. Between 1969 and 1972, 12 astronauts walked on the moon during the Apollo project. Scientists are still studying the rock and soil samples that they brought to Earth. In 2009, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is, stands for LRO, went into orbit around the moon. It is creating detailed maps of the surface. And here's Earth, right? The moon is right here. And here's the other planets that we can also learn about later on. And here's some other facts about the Earth and the moon. The position of the solar system is third from the sun 
and the moon actually just orbits which means to go around the earth and the distance from the sun is 93 million miles as for from earth is 238,855 miles for the earth it orbits 365 days right but the moon orbits around the earth 27.32 days so for the sunrise and for the sunrise it is 24 hours right and for the moon it's a little bit more it's 29.53 the diameter which means how how wide it is which is 7,926 miles and the moon is 2,159 so from this you can tell that the earth is way bigger right and the mass is one and for the moon about 81 moons will equal the mass of earth wow so as you can see we need 81 moons to equal earth on Earth, there is oxygen and nitrogen, and on the moon, there's none, which explains the oxygen masks that you need to wear. And for water, is 70% covered with water, and on the moon, the water ice may exist in shallowed polar craters, which are the holes, right? That you might see some water. For the Earth, there is one moon. The moon is a moon, so there's zero that's orbiting around. The drummers, you need AirPod, AirPlugs, because because you will be able to hear. But on the Earth, on the Moon, you're not able to hear anything, so no AirPlugs are necessary. And that's the end of the book. And now we're getting ready for some questions, which is really about about what you learned and what facts you remember from the story. So let's try to complete the sentence. The moon has blank. Is it A, less gravity than Earth? B, no air? Or C, all of the answers are correct? Give you some time to figure that out. All right, let's go over it. The answer should be C. All of the answers are correct. There is less gravity on the moon than on Earth, and there's no air on the moon, which is why we need oxygen tanks, right? And that explains everything with how you're not able to stand properly on the moon. Less gravity. Number two, why are astronauts' footprints still on the moon? So why are their footprints still on the moon? Is it because A, no gravity, B, no wind or rain to wear them down. C, no other people to walk on them. Which is the reason why? All right, let's go over it. The answer should be B, no wind or rain to wear them down. It'll never wash away because there's nothing for it to move to put it away, right? On Earth, there's so much rain and so much wind that sometimes things change colors and that's why it goes away. However, on the moon, it'll always stay there. And let's see, maybe one day it'll change, but I doubt it, right? Next, true or false, there is no music or sound on the moon. Is that true or false? Give you some time to think about that. All right, let's go over it. The answer should be false. There is no music or sounds on the moon because there is no air. Remember, no sound music because there's no air. Next one, complete the sentence. A rover is blank. Is it A, a vehicle used to explore the moon? 
B. Toy card to play with or C. Vehicle for aliens to play with. Think about it and give me your answer. All right, let's go over it. The answer should be A, a vehicle used to explore the moon, which is what he was riding on also. And it looks something like this, right? Next one, I think this last one, true or false? On the moon, the sky is sometimes blue. Is that true or false? On the moon, the sky is sometimes blue. All right, let's go over it. It is false. Only on Earth, the sky is sometimes blue because of the sunlight. However, on the moon, the sky is always, always black, right? Something good that you should know. And thank you so much for watching. If you would like to read more about the other planets, click like for this video and of course, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.